personas están creyendo, están recibiendo. Thank you, Jesus. And that was our God Almighty intervene. Let's put our hands together for Jesus once more. We welcome you in Jesus' name. Can you introduce yourself to us by telling us your name, where you've come from, and introduce the people standing next to you? Emmanuel. My name is Mrs. Amanda Abba. We are from Lagos. Here is my husband and my daughter, Deborah, my son, Joshua. We are here to thank God for what God has done for me, especially this boy, Joshua. It all started two months ago, July 25. That particular day, I was at home with these children because they went for holiday at my mother's in-law's place. So I was with them that day. When their auntie came, she called them. She was on bike when she called them that come. So to my, my talk to us, she normally, whenever she comes there, she will take them to go and buy something for them. That was what I was thinking. Not knowing that she's taking them to her house. So they left. It's not quite up, up to... 10 minutes, when the, my senior daughter ran to me, she came alone. She was like shivering. And I asked her, what happened? She said, mommy, come out, come out. I said, come out. What happened? Where is your uh, brother? Where is Deborah? He said, I cannot explain. What do you mean by you cannot explain? He said, blood. Ah. So I, I, was not wearing, I was not wearing slippers. So I ran out. Not even know where to go, run to. I was now asking her, where, where are they? He said, she was pointing down the street. So I ran out, I followed her. Approaching, coming out of my, the, the gate, that was when I saw Joshua, my, this one, coming. As he was coming, the way he was walking, he was not, he, he was not putting on anything on his leg. And this, the brother here was holding her clothes like this. They are, the both of them crying. And this one was looking somehow weak. When I get close to him, I now see that the whole of his body was full of blood. The ear side here was still pumping out, bringing out blood. I, the lady was with them. And I asked her, what happened? She said, dog. I said, dog. Say, what how come? You said she cannot explain because she herself, she was shaking. At first of all, I don't even know what to do. I started crying. I don't know where to run to. Where to run to? Then she said, let's go to the hospital. Okay, we, I was going. I said, which hospital? That was how we carried ourselves. We land in the hospital. So when I look at Deborah own, it was at her butos. It was not that much. But this particular one was very serious that day. I said, God, it's only you that can help me from this thing today. So the doctor said they will give them injection and they will treat the boy. When they wanted to treat him, when I look at the face of the wound, the one close to this ear side here. The thing was very deep. I said, God. They said, Madam, come and hold him so that we can treat him. I said, I cannot look at it. So they collected it from me, collected him from me. I, I said, okay, when they were about to leave, I said, okay, let me snap it. Even when I was snapping it, my hand was like shaking. So I snapped it. I want this, uh, my, the second person with me said, take the video. I was doing it. I could not even do it very well because I've not seen something like that before. I said, God. So after the, in, the injection and the treatment, we left that day. When we get home, the pain was much. They could not sleep. Not knowing that there is still another one under his armpit. He started bleeding. His clothes was soaked that night. I said, God. So on Sunday, I brought them to prayer line. Because this one was crying too that it's paining me. This one too said, I'm feeling pain inside there. So I brought them to prayer line. When Pastor Mrs. Evelyn Joshua prayed for us, he prayed for us that day. He, he, he prayed for this particular one. It was me. He just concentrated on me that particular day. After the prayer, he gave us this anointed water. I took it home. After I took the water home, I used it to minister it on that particular place. I did not open it. I just, with faith, 
I ministered the water there. Because when he was crying, pain, pain, I ministered the anointing water there. And I gave him. I ministered on the sister also. So that night, they slept well. Nothing happened. Then the following day, which is Monday, I wanted to go there, but our appointment was on Wednesday. So when we went there that Wednesday, they, they were to treat, to open the wound, dress it, and close it back. When we went to the doctor's office, an, an argument was between the, me and the nurse. Then doctor said, was requesting to see my husband, because he was not around, he traveled there. So he said he would not, he would not, they should not dress the wound, that we should go. That until he sees my husband. Then one of the nurse, when I was going, ran to me now tell me that I should. This is what they are using for the, they, they are, they, they are, I can use to clean it. That I should go and buy. That when I want to do it, I should use scissors to hold it at the tip so that I can clean it and put it inside the hole. Where the, where the, the dog teeth biting. So when I went home that day, I, I bought, but I'm, I'm afraid I cannot open that place because... I can't see it. I cannot look at it. So my husband called me that, have you done it? I said, no, I cannot open it. My mother-in-law said, open it. I said, no, I'm afraid. So they said I should bait him first, that she will help me to do it. When I was baiting him, the bandage they put now fell off. When the thing fell off, I was like, I wouldn't want to look at it. Then Deborah now said, mommy, see. When I look that particular place where there is hole, when I uh, the one that did, that made me not to that I cannot look at it. When when I look at it, I now see that the place has covered. That. It has covered. So I was shocked. Then I ran to call my mother-in-law. That come and see. No hole here. He said. What do you mean by no? How are we going to clean it? I said, the place has covered. She said, are you sure? When she looked at it, she said, I, because she, she was there that day when that thing happened. I didn't she was not there. She wouldn't have believed what I'm saying. She saw it herself. That was all. I thank God of Prophet TV Joshua. I thank God of Evelyn Joshua. I thank God of Synagogue. If not for God, I wouldn't have known what I've, I've been saying today because what wanted to happen that day was the dog wanted to eat this boy. But I thank God. I thank God. Thank you. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. That clap is not enough for the miracle working God. Put those hands together for Jesus. Say to your neighbor, the miracle worker is in the house. Say to your other neighbor, the miracle worker is in the house. His name is Jesus. So, ma'am, we rejoice with you for what God Almighty has done for you. And what God Almighty has done in the life of your son. We can see some pictures on display. Please, can you tell us what these pictures is all about? This, this picture was when, when they are about to treat him. So they said I should come and hold him so that they will, they will clean the wound. But I could not. I, I just hand him over to them that they should go and do it. So when they are about entering where they will do it, I just said, let me snap it. Even when I was even snapping it, I was shivering because I wasn't myself that day. Because the way the blood soaked his clothes, I have not seen something like that before. That is here, this particular one. And this place was when after some, some weeks, everything just covered like this. No stitches. God just covered, covered it for me like this. Then this place, this particular side, is the armpit side, um, uh, the back. Because at this back here, all over his back was full of the dog teeth. Then the, his armpit, under his armpit here, I, even the doctor, the nurses, they didn't know that there is wound there. It was when we get home that he started bleeding that I now found out that another one is still there. So 
that is it. Just thank God of the rejection. Thank God of the God. Let's put those hands together once more for the miracle working God. So let's listen to Joshua. Hello, Joshua. How are you? How are you? What is your name? Joshua. So what happened to you? Dog bites me. Dog bites you. So how are you feeling now? Okay. You are feeling okay. Let's put those hands together for the miracle working God. Yes. Let us listen to your daughter. What is your name? I'm Deborah. So how do you feel now that you are healed and your brother is completely healed? I feel okay. Let's put those hands together for Jesus. We've just heard from the little girl. She said she feels okay and her little brother is fine. Let's put those hands together once more for Jesus. So mom, tell us, what is your word of advice for the benefits of the viewers listening? My word of advice is, in any situation you find yourself, just always believe that there is God. And first thing, that day, I don't even know what to do, but later, my mind, now I, I think back, and I remember God. Just remember that there is always God. Put God first in anything that you are doing. Because as a Christian, don't just expect it that there will be no problem. There will always be problem. But it's how you handle it. Thank you, Jesus. Let's put those hands together for the miracle working God. Venez d'écouter le merveilleux témoignage de Madame Deborah Abam, qui est présente avec ses enfants, sa famille. Elle dit qu'un bonjour, ses, ses enfants sont sortis avec sa sœur et qu'en courant, sa fille est revenue à la maison et qu'elle s'est rendue compte en fait qu'elle était apeurée. Et donc elle est sortie pour remarquer, découvrir que ses deux enfants avaient été mordus par un chien. Donc apeurés, ils sont partis voir un médecin et le, le médecin a donc nettoyé les plaies. Et finalement... Euh, la dame et ses enfants sont venus ici à la synagogue Église de toutes les nations, comme vous pouvez le voir sur vos écrans, où la pasteur Yveline Joshua a prié pour eux. Et comme vous pouvez le voir, cette plaie qui avait a complètement disparu. Il n'y a que deux petites marques, parce que la plaie était très profonde, mais elle rend gloire à Dieu, au Dieu du prophète Sibi Joshua, et donne cons comme conseil d'accourir à Dieu en cas de problème, parce que Dieu est présent, toujours présent, pour euh, apporter la solution à vos problèmes. Et remercie Dieu d'avoir guéri ces deux enfants de cette morsure de chien. C'est l'explicateur du monde entier. Espectadores de todo el mundo, acabamos de escuchar este maravilloso testimonio de esta familia. Esta mujer vino con sus dos hijos que fueron atacados por un perro. Los dos fueron mordidos por este perro, especialmente el niño pequeño, como vemos en pantalla, sufrió heridas muy graves en sus oídos, en su brazo, en su axila y la niña también en sus glúteos. Estas heridas no cerraban, sin embargo, cuando ellos vinieron y recibieron oración, en la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones por parte de la pastora Evelyn Joshua y también recibieron el nuevo agua de unción, eh, estas heridas cerraron completamente para la gloria de Dios, hoy ellos están aquí para testificar y darle toda la gloria a Dios por su recuperación y nos aconsejan creer en Dios en medio de cualquier situación, espectador permanece conectado Chao Pudai.